Today we're gonna talk about tempted to lash out. Reminders that will convince you not to. So sadly, one of the biggest truths about life is that there are people who are gonna be rude and mean to you, no matter what, for absolutely no reason, not being your fault. Some people even hurt those who have done really good things for them. Their malicious ways can prompt anyone to put them in their place. So just imagine the chaos that it would bring to absolutely everybody if they reacted in anger towards people who've attacked them. Although you have to repress or even hide these ideas to be able to take a step back when you are tempted, when you are feeling upset about the matter. And it's definitely not easy to basically exert the minimum, the minimum tolerance and patience. And here are some reminders that we're gonna talk about that are gonna help you tremendously so you're not wanting to kill somebody. For example, I used to work at a behavioral medical center as a nurse, and at, meaning as a psych ward. In Spanish it's called un manicomio. So at the time, we had to de-escalate people and learn how to do that. So now that I'm at an oncology place once a week, we always talk about these methods not to anger people even more. won't solve anything you guys sorry to bring that up to you i know that sometimes you're just super upset i understand so am i i work with cancer patients you guys and you might be motivated to start an argument with someone just because it feels good or for or, or maybe just it's a good reason to do it right there at that moment like proving a point or even teaching a lesson however since your anger is gonna like add to the fuel and grow and grow and grow it's a greater chance for the issue to further escalate than it to be resolved in the end you may just realize that your outbursts did not solve anything whatsoever and there are an utter waste of time. You're letting them win when you show them that they take you off. So instead of getting angry, instead of being upset and wanting to fight with somebody, you can divert your energy to more productive activities. I can give you some ways to de-escalate somebody that is going through something like this because at the end of the day, what's the point? You're letting them win altogether. The moment that they know they have you, that's when you lose the fight. They hurt you more. Fighting is rarely a pleasant activity, and negative emotions can take a toll to your health. Your, fur, your fury can exhaust you and elevate your blood pressure. This happens all the time, you guys. It's bad for your heart, lungs, and other organs. And I'm a true believer that if you have way too much drama, too much craziness, it will manifest in a horrible sickness later on in life. God forbid, and I'm not gonna wood, that you don't have to look through cancer. Because some people, unfortunately, ugh, it, 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 eats, it eats them from the inside out. 
The stress that brings you, it will make you anxious and weaken your immune system as well. I want you to understand that. All the bad effects from your overall well-being clearly show that acting in anger is never the best way to deal with people who get on your nerves. Thus, even if someone is making your blood boil, remember to stay calm for the sake of your health. One thing, you guys, when you are in an, in a room in an environment with somebody who's extremely hostile, let them be. Classical, classic conditioning means that like, like when you do the dog, you only reward them by giving them attention when they're nice and calm and cool and collected. Everybody gets angry at some point in their life. You're not perfect, they understand that. It is not an emotion that is reserved for only the cruel and miserable. It can happen to anybody. What I'm trying to say is that this is not about denying yourselves the right to be angry, but realizing that it is always worth it just to keep your cool, even to those who have done you wrong. I hope that makes total sense. I hope that you enjoyed this talk. Please share, comment, give me a like. And if you're an A player,